it goes from very low activity or few of these spots that we see on the disk to suddenly just covered with spots and many different places where activity could come from. Um, those, that activity you talked about coming towards us, um, we're just at the time of, of the sun cycle that there's going to be a lot of it. On May 1st, 2024, a small and unremarkable sunspot appeared on the eastern side of the sun. At first, scientists didn't pay much attention, but within days, it grew at a shocking speed, becoming 17 times bigger than Earth. This massive sunspot, named Active Region 3664, wasn't just big, it was powerful. Soon, it started releasing intense solar flares and coronal mass ejections, huge bursts of energy aimed directly at Earth. The result? A breathtaking display of auroras lighting up skies in places where they had never been seen before. NASA reported that this triggered the most powerful geomagnetic storm in 500 years, even disrupting underground observatories. But the sun wasn't done. After May, the sun kept releasing strong flares, keeping scientists on high alert. Then on October 3rd, the sun produced a massive flare, the strongest in seven years. This triggered a powerful geomagnetic storm, causing more auroras and interrupting radio communications around the world. These events confirmed one thing. The solar maximum had arrived. NASA later announced that the sun's magnetic field had flipped, a key sign of this intense phase of the sun's 11-year cycle. But what does this mean for us? The sun might look steady from Earth, but it's constantly changing. Every 11 years, it goes through a natural process called the solar cycle. During this time, the sun's activity, including solar flares, CMEs, and sunspots, rises and falls. The cycle was first discovered in the late 1700s, when scientists noticed that sunspots, dark spots on the sun's surface, weren't random. They followed a regular pattern of increasing and decreasing numbers over time. This cycle also involves big changes in the sun's magnetic field, which flips completely during the most active phase, known as the solar maximum. Since the discovery of the solar cycle, Scientists have tracked each one and given it a number. We're currently in solar cycle 25, which began in December 2019. Experts originally predicted this cycle would be weaker than the last one, but instead it's been one of the most active in decades. By August 2024, sunspot numbers were more than double the predictions and the solar maximum arrived earlier than expected. NASA confirmed that the sun's activity will stay high into 2025, bringing more frequent solar storms, bright auroras, and potential impacts on Earth's technology. The sun's activity has shaped life on Earth for centuries. During periods of high solar activity, we see stronger geomagnetic storms that can disrupt communication systems, power grids, and even satellites. But there have also been unusually quiet times like the Maunder Minimum. During this period, sunspot activity almost disappeared, coinciding with a cooler climate known as the Little Ice Age, when Europe experienced harsh winters and frozen rivers. More recently, Solar Cycle 24, 2008-2019, was much weaker than normal, raising questions about whether Earth could experience another long-lasting quiet period. Solar Cycle 25 has already surprised scientists with its intensity. By January 2024, predictions had to be updated to reflect a much stronger and earlier solar maximum than expected. As of October 2024, NASA confirmed we are officially in the solar maximum phase, though the exact peak of activity may not be confirmed for months or years. During this time, the sun is likely to release more CMEs, solar flares, and geomagnetic storms, which could cause disruptions to satellites, power grids, and communication systems. But on the bright side, 
This also means we can expect some of the most stunning auroral displays in decades. Auroras are one of the most visible effects of solar activity. When a CME hits Earth's magnetic field, it creates colorful light displays in the sky. Most auroras are green, caused by solar particles colliding with oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. Rarer red auroras occur at higher altitudes, but they need to be much brighter to be visible. The best places to see these light shows are near the poles, in countries like Canada, Iceland, Norway, and New Zealand. As we approach the peak of solar cycle 25, the sun reminds us of its power and beauty. While these events can disrupt our technology, they also give us a chance to witness one of nature's most incredible spectacles, inspiring us to take a step back and appreciate the grandeur of nature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. See you very soon.